everybody, it is Quicken, and welcome back to another episode of Tattoo Talk Tuesday. If it is your first time joining us, Tattoo Talk Tuesday is my weekly interactive tattoo talk show where I take user-generated questions and my lend my experience as a tattoo collector to you guys. So this week I want to talk about something that I get a lot of questions about that I would love to help you guys out with and that is tattoo aftercare after the tattoo is healed. And I don't mean like two weeks healed or like two months healed. I mean tattoos that are on you and they've been on you for maybe years. I get some questions about like, hey, my tattoos are still itching me and it's been over a year or my tattoos seem dull. And I would love to share with you some things I do to keep the health of my tattoos alive and well. Um, and I do have a video all about keeping your tattoos bright, but I would love to go a little further in there and just share some stuff I do with my body and my skin in order to keep my tattoos at the best health they can be. So definitely stay tuned in this video for some tips that I can lend you guys and definitely let me know what you do in the comments down below to keep your tattoos healthy as well. So I got this question off Tumblr and it says, is it common for tattoos to be itchy even after it has been a year or more since you got them? And I answered, it may just be a possibility that you have dry skin. For years I used peppermint soap until someone told me it was actually really drying for my skin and I noticed my tattoos seem brighter when I switched to a very moisture rich body wash. Even if you're not using peppermint soap, maybe try switching your daily routine. Maybe it's just something you're doing that doesn't mesh well with your body. So I'm going to show you guys what I like to do in the shower when I am cleaning my tattoos and just making sure they are very bright and exfoliated. So you guys might remember this video where I used a tattoo brightening device that is sold to be a tattoo brightener. And a lot of the comments on this video said, why don't you try exfoliating with a brush? So today I'm going to be showing you the Vanity Planet Body Brush Spin for Perfect Skin, which is ideal for full body exfoliation. And right now it's on sale for $30. So you guys can check that out with the link in the description. So exfoliating your skin is great for brightening your tattoos. You can see here that I'm going to exfoliate before I start with the rest of my routine. This brush head spins to help with any clogged pores. I like it especially because I get a lot of ingrown hairs from shaving and they cause a lot of red bumps so this is really great for opening up the pores and making everything really smooth and fresh. Exfoliated skin equals bright tattoos. This is a really great way to start off your routine. So I use a really moisture-rich body wash and that is Olive Branch by Lush. It has a lot of oils in it, which is great for my skin. I notice a lot of improvement when I'm using this as opposed to a peppermint soap that I used to use. So I'll take that and rub it right over all my tattoos. So the spinning brush also has a pumice stone head, which is great for the tattoo I have on my heel. It generally gets really callous because of the rubbing of my shoe, and I feel like you can even see it on camera how much brighter it gets after I can spin over it like that with the pumice stone. After that, I like to shave. This step isn't optional. I mean, this step is optional. You do not have to shave if you don't want to, but I feel like when I shave my tattooed areas, they always end up looking a little more bright anyway. My skin is kind of dark. The hair on my skin is kind of dark, so it kind of muddies up that area. Then I exfoliate one more time with this brush. This is not a daily routine. This is just tattoo maintenance. From here, I feel like you can already see how much brighter and how much more healthy my skin looks from exfoliating with the brush and using the moisturizer. From here, I'll put on some moisture-rich lotion. This is Sympathy for the Skin by Lush. All of the tattoos on my leg are at least over a year old. Some of them are up to six years old. And you can see just from 
this little routine, everything looks so much brighter and healthier. My skin is so much softer to the touch after exfoliating that dry skin off of the top layer. And even with just a little bit of moisturizer, everything looks so much brighter. For my arm, I'm showing you a different option, and this is argan oil. I feel like oil can be a great way to also brighten your tattoos. I swear, if I put oil on my tattoos, they look brand new. The snake tattoo is close to five years old. The rose tattoo is two years old. The bird tattoo is almost five years old. And I feel like after a good exfoliating, a good shave, they look brand new every single time. Here are all the products I used. I will have links in the description for every single thing I use. I swear by this stuff. So I got this question on Tumblr and this says, Hey Quicken, I watch all your videos and I love you so much. I have a question about healed tattoos though. My first was a big thigh piece, go big or go home. It healed kind of uneven. There's a lot of lines that are raised. Will that go away with time or is it that way forever? So I answered, when I had my tattoo removal, I was told that tattoos heal beyond the initial two or three week span where most of the apparent healing occurs. A lot of healing happens in the following 12 weeks. I would say if you still fall under that umbrella, drink a lot of water and try to eat a little more consciously. Our bodies heal best when they are running well. So any lag in that process can usually be cured with healthy, healthy maintenance. So I think one of the best tips I could tell anyone is our bodies heal from the inside out. If you are like me and you like to snack and you eat a lot of junk food and you drink a lot of coffee like I do, sometimes that shows up in our skin. So my best advice to you is to maybe figure out what your vices are. Mine is definitely snacking and figure out some ways to help with that. I think healthy eating can change so much. I feel like if I'm eating better, I'm sleeping better. And if I am drinking a lot of water, I feel like my skin is brighter and the elasticity of my skin is better. And with all of that, I feel like my tattoos reflect that as well. I'm not saying change your entire diet. I'm not saying change your entire life. But if there's little things that you can do, like if you drink soda every day, if you eat candy every day, if you're like me and you eat like a vegan cheesesteak every day, I feel like all of those things definitely show up in our skin. And if your tattoos are still healing, there's so much improvement if I just drink more water. I also feel like my tattoos are really raised if I have dry skin or if it is cold outside. So I think heavy blankets, sweatshirts, everything like that, keep your skin moisturized and protect your skin from the elements. Hope some of these tricks and little things that I do were helpful to you. Um, I know not everything can be helped with some of these things, and sometimes a touch-up might be might be your best solution for ink fallout or just some trouble that has happened during healing. And I definitely assure you that all of that is normal. I have received touch-ups on tattoos, definitely in the inside of my elbow, places where it's difficult to heal. But if you have a tattoo and it's healed to the best of your ability, keeping these things in mind will definitely be helpful to you. So give this video a thumbs up if you care about the health of your tattoos and if you are here for Tattoo Talk Tuesday. And if it's your first time joining us, please hit that subscribe button. I love you guys so much and until next Tuesday, leave your submissions in the comments down below. I would love to do more directly user submitted stuff. Keep the conversation alive. And I love you guys. Bye. 
Hey everybody, it is Quickened, and I know normally we do Five Pack Friday on Fridays, and I had a couple pretty good questions I wanted to answer. Hey everybody, it's Quickened, and today I am so happy to bring you this episode of Tattoo Talk.